You know, they say the only things constant in life are death and taxes. That's true enough. Change is a constant in life because as human beings, we're always striving to do better. That's how cities grow and parks get built. That's why people keep opening new restaurants and writing poetry and joining rock bands. Why we go to college, change jobs, or learn to sail. To challenge ourselves, to improve, to get better at what we do. Because if we don't, we just keep going over the same old ground. We may not make mistakes, but we don't improve either. Reporting the news is like any other job in life. You're always trying to do it better. Better than the competition. Better than you did it last week. Why? Because you have something you think is important to people and you want them to watch. Because you want to be good. So you try to make your writing as clear as you can. You work hard at getting all the facts straight and covering the stories as quickly as possible. And sometimes you change the way the news is presented. And if you're lucky, you find someone who knows how to manage change and bring him home. Here at Cairo, we were fortunate enough to find Bill Lord, a respected news director and winner of the Peabody Award, the nation's highest award for television journalism. Bill was eager to bring his young family home to Seattle, where he grew up and went to school. Good, thank you. You know, we've done a lot of listening over the past year. You let us know you weren't very enthusiastic about Cairo's out-of-the-box format. You said what you really wanted was balanced news and fair reporting. Most of all, you said you wanted good people. You wanted the very best people to deliver your news. Well, we're still listening. And what you're telling us now is we're on the right track. Charles Campbell has been executed. It all starts with Steve Rabel. You told us he was Seattle's most popular male anchor. This year, he proved that with the Emmy Award as the Northwest's outstanding newscaster. Tell him how much you like Margaret. Go on, tell him what you said. We found Margaret Larson out in Issaquah. Cairo is a family-sensitive company. We offered Margaret a schedule that gives her time to be a mom. In return, we got one of the best broadcasters in the country. I get around with you, but uh, I gotta get up at five tomorrow morning. Joyce Taylor is a Tacoma native and truly one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Her smile and upbeat personality are just as infectious in person as they are on your TV. And I guess you know where we found this guy. Tony Ventrilla is the only sports anchor in town who makes sports entertaining, even for those who may not care about sports. Those were the days. You know, we're still behind, but it's like in November. And finally, the where would Cairo be you know, without our, Harry Wappler? But for our area here, I'm looking at this low in the Gulf of Alaska. Harry is the one thing we hope will never change. Thank you very much. Nice to see you again. So, yes, we think we're making progress. Viewers are coming back, ratings are improving. We're listening to you, and it's given us a goal. We want to be your hometown television station. We at Cairo share your values, we share your love of the Northwest, and we'll never forget, we're working for you. The changes we've made here at Cairo have been really exciting, and I'm glad to be part of a team that I think today is bringing you the best newscast in the Northwest, bringing it to you first, right, and fast. I'm especially proud to be part of a station known for honoring its commitments to the community, a station that isn't afraid to grow and change to always try to be the best, because we think you deserve to have the best.